Hello guys again. Tonight we are gonna do a comparison between the Apple TV 4K second gen 2021 and the Apple TV 4K third gen. Both of these are 64 gigs. Um, the only difference here in this one, this is the for, uh, the 2022 version, the new the newest version one, is a little bit smaller. It has um a different kind of ports the uh, amount of ports uh the 64 gigabyte has only the hdmi and the power ac adapter uh, uh, port and on the back you won't see like anything to put uh you won't see fans or anything like that like the other one i will compare now the other difference from here to the other one will be the controllers they're all the same controllers but the yeah, the way that they get charged one of them has USB-C, the other has the lining cable uh, that's the difference that of the, the, between these two but if you see they're all the same they have the same features they work the same way um to be honest i guess apple is changing back to uh it's going to usb-c as well i guess in their cell phone in the future because if this change from the lining to the usb-c who knows maybe um to be honest the only difference from here this one is bigger if you see here it looks it looks more for me it looks expensive let's put it that way this one looks like cheaper and even even feels cheaper it feels like even it, it doesn't even weigh too much like that that one the other thing i don't like about um this one is that it doesn't come with the ethernet port unless you get that 128 gigabytes i don't understand why they did that but i guess they want to well they said they sold this from the beginning like uh in a little bit less than this one maybe for cost effective or maybe they wanted to i don't know in this case, I don't know, maybe they have a reason for this, but we don't know how about that yet. But in this case, I have the, this one, you will see they have the scribe with the, uh, this is the, uh, the Apple logo, has the TV on the side. This one, so simple, same of other, any other Apple products that you have. Um, in this case, the only difference from this one to the other one is that the storage availability from the old one is only 32 gigs and 64 gigs. And... For the third generation, 64 gigs and 128 gigs. The 128 gigs one it has the Ethernet port and it has the MIMO time two MIMO simultaneous dual band, 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz. The other one have has the two. The the third, the second generation has the two as well. But in this case, uh, the only difference is it doesn't have the uh, two by two. Still the same gigabit port. If it has an Ethernet, the one that has an Ethernet here is the same way. It's the same gigabit port. That's to be the only the only differences and also and obviously the chip. This one have the A12 Bionic chip with 64 bit architecture and the A15 Bionic on the third generation. I don't know if it's 32 or 64 a bit, but um in this point in this case it doesn't show in the Apple website. Maybe they're using 64 architecture for everything. They're not bringing back 32, but that that's something to double check here. But in the end, all of the same features are the same. I don't see any difference between performance. Um, the only thing is that since this one has only Wi-Fi, maybe the streaming performance I see a little bit, a little bit slower from this one that I have it directly plugged into the Ethernet. But to be honest, which one is best of the best? Depends on you. If you like to have your Ethernet port, you only need 64 gigs or 32 gigs. Go ahead. If both of them has the Ethernet port. The difference from this one is if you want the 128 gig, then you will get the Ethernet port. If you want only 64 gigs, well, you only will get the HDMI and the AC adapter port. Also look the same, they weigh differently. We will see about that. This will be the old version, the one that I it feels like expensive. For me, it feels expensive, it's heavy. Looks like a good Apple device. See, 14.7 pounds. That's the second generation. And for the third generation, See, 7.3, half. It's even half. That's why I'm saying that it feels like a little bit, I don't know, cheap. It's like a Roku. feels like a Roku. But both of them, excellent experience, excellent performance. I haven't seen anything different from one to the other. Maybe this one for gaming. I guess I saw a difference, maybe just a little bit, but not much that difference from this one to the other one. They're always on special. Costco, Sam's, they always have them special as well. So also... Let's see how the measurements, the difference between the measurements, if you compare side by side, you see this one is more, way more smaller. If you put it like this, you will realize there's a gap here of the difference within the bigger one and the other one. And from the side like this, 
this one a little bit smaller. Let's see the measurements. For the third generation, it looks like a three and maybe more than a half inches. Both sides, same way. Frontal is on an inch and a quarter. This one will be almost exactly four inches. Four inches, you can say. And one and almost a half inch of of the uh, height. So in this case, to be honest, I love them all. Love them both. I don't have any different opinion from them. I don't see any difference that I told you. Maybe in gaming you can see it, but not in the other things like streaming videos and sound. And maybe in the Wi-Fi you can test it out. If you um since this one has the Mimo 2x2. Two Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it makes a difference or not, depending on the what type of router you have too. But at the moment, I'm really happy for both of them. Um, I really love the uh, the Apple TV. Um, if you haven't ever, ever try any Apple TV, this is the time to try because if you're trying to invest in a Roku or you want to invest in something like uh, uh, maybe the the uh, the Amazon Stick, I really recommend this one first. And if you have Apple iPhone and you have accessories like the AirPods or even the watch or, and I forgot to put my watch today, or the watch, or also you have a, a, an iPhone, it's super easy. It connects with everything, super live, super amazing. So, well, this is it with for today. I really lo love both. I don't have any any kind of, of different opinion on them. Maybe the third generation in games plays better but not a big difference all right thank you guys subscribe and, thumb, and please like the video